Alright guys, it's BLM here, it's time for another video, now this is going to be another pickup video, and this is going to be a really, really weird one, because, um, yeah, there's hardly any games here, um, or at least hardly any games for my personal collection, I believe there's only one, and actually this video is originally going to be named, like, the No Game Edition, there was really no games in this pickup video at all, um, but all of a sudden I got one game and then a whole bunch of, like, uh, duplicates and stuff, so... I guess I'll uh, shoot a video, and yeah, a lot of actually VHS tapes in this video for some reason. Uh, I just got a really, really good deal on them, and I decided to get them. Um, so, yeah, uh, but of course I'll start off with the game. Oh, right, by the way, it's been almost three weeks since I shot my last video, so um, yeah, this is pretty much the pickups for the last three weeks. Uh, just my air has been extremely dry recently, and that's the reason why there's hardly any games in here, but uh, whatever. And also, if you hear anything in the background, it's actually Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because um, I decided to watch every single Power Ranger uh, episode from the beginning and uh, currently on episode 34 of the first season. Uh, about to get to uh, the green candle. But um, yeah, um, let's start off with the garage sale pickups, I guess. Or actually, wait, first, I believe, yeah, um, was this. And this isn't from a garage sale, however, it's from a friend of mine. And. Um, yeah, he just gave it to me. Um, he found this in, I think he said his garage or whatever, but um, it's an original Game Boy. Um, yeah, it's broken though. I tried it out. It doesn't work, sadly. But um, it might be something in the screen. I don't know. I don't fix consoles or anything. I don't know anything about that. But uh, whatever, well, got it for free. And it um, came with Tetris. Thank God for that. Um, yeah, got it. Whatever. And then uh, the pretty good deal today is I walked up to yard sale and saw this box and I saw these cases on top so I looked over and of course it was PS2 stuff and uh, I was pretty happy because as I said I usually don't find anything during the summer and um, finding a PS2 system for a whole bunch of games was a pretty good deal. It was pretty cool. I asked the people how much do you want for this stuff? They said 15 which 15 isn't bad. Um, it's actually a pretty good deal but I still offered them 10. They took it so I was pretty excited about this. Uh, came with 10 games here. Um, a controller. A PS2 controller. Um, seems broken though. Like the buttons are really, really stuck together. Yeah, you can hear that they're really sticky and stuff. So I doubt that works, but whatever. Um, PlayStation 2 memory card. It has some sticker residue on it for some reason, but whatever. And then um, has the cables. I already put the cables aside just because they're a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, here's the PS2 console. Uh, comes with a network adapter, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, came with the cables and stuff, so happy about that. And then these games um, was really strange assortment of games. You could tell it was their kids um, because, it, like, the PS2 isn't really in the greatest condition because the controller and stuff. But the games, surprisingly, for the most part, are in pretty decent shape. Um, I mean, they're not really that great of titles. I mean, there's one pretty good title, but I mean, they're, nah. Call of Duty 2, whatever. Um, this is a pretty good title, uh, Okage Shadow King. Um, it surprised me that they had this, because, um, I mean, it's an RPG, if you don't know, and kids usually don't like RPGs. I mean, if there's an RPG that they would have, I would expect it to be Kingdom Hearts or something, but Okage was pretty strange. Maybe they saw the cover and thought it was interesting, I don't know. Um, literally, one, two, three, four, six, co six copy of, uh, Gran Turismo 3 Ace Back. Freaking ridiculous. Um, FIFA 2005. I don't know if I have this one, actually. Um, then, um, really disappointing about this, uh, iToy Play and Kinetic. I was really hoping that they would have the iToy with it, because I actually don't have one. I have, like, uh, three or four iToy games, but I don't have the iToy itself, and sadly they didn't have it, so that was kind of disappointing as well. But, um, and then after that, over to Hedge, um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, sadly not the Xbox version, but whatever, um, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, which I believe I have, actually, yeah, I have this one as well, and then, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel of the Roses, which I just picked up, which kind of sucks, because I believe I paid 2 or $3 dollars for it, and this one I got technically for less than dollars, so that kind of sucked, but whatever, I got that. Um, this is actually from a Salvation Army, a Salvation Army I always go to. I started looking in the uh, children book section, mainly because um, 
Yeah, in the children's section, I got, sometimes I find strategy guides, and this time I did as well. Yeah. What's really weird is that um, at this thrift store, the thing I hate is that nothing has prices on them. It's all based on what the cash register really wants to charge you. Um, I mean, they like have signs that say like children books are a dollar, and then like um, regular books are dollar twenty-five. Usually for PS1 games, like with some of the cash registers, they try to charge you three dollars. Um, because they're games, while others, they charge you a dollar because that's what CDs are priced, so, um, yeah, it just matters on who you go to, and, um, this time, I ended up going to someone that cared, which kind of sucks, but they still gave me this one for, this, uh, strategy guide for a dollar, that is the Crazy Taxi strategy guide, um, this is the one for the PS2 version of the game, and, um, yeah, I don't think I'll ever use this, to be honest, but I thought it was pretty cool to get for a dollar. And the one I was pretty happy about, I saw that, this is the first one I saw, and um, they did charge me $1.25 for this one, but whatever, I was willing to pay that anyway. And um, yeah, I looked down the spine, and I saw Final Fantasy. And right away I got excited, and when I pulled it out, at first I thought it was Final Fantasy VII, which if it was the Final Fantasy VII strategy guide, I would have been freaking out. Um, it would have been so awesome, but it wasn't, but it's still one that I'm pretty happy to get, and that is the Final Fantasy XIII strategy guide. Now... Um, I already played through Final Fantasy 13. I already beat the game. But this is still pretty cool to get. Any Final Fantasy strategy guide is awesome to have. And, um, yeah, enormous book here. Um, $1.25, I'll take it, whatever. Alright, and now time for Final Deal, which is a lot less video game based. Um, as you see, um, a lot of VHS tapes here. This came from the thrift store that, um, I got... The Sealed Castlevania at, and uh, Xenogears, and Muggers All Twin Snakes, and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, this thrift store um, is really, really dry nowadays. Um, really has a whole bunch of crap, but um, got a whole bunch of VHS tapes. That um, VHS tapes there are 25 cents a piece. And then uh, got, like, two games, and that they priced that $1.50 a piece. And bundled everything together for $10. And... Um, in my opinion, it's a really, really good deal um, with one item that I got technically got for free that I'm extremely happy to get. But um, I'll do the VHS tapes first. These first few, I don't really care about. I don't know why I got them. I just knew that um, if I can get it over ten dollars, I can like ask them, "Could you do ten dollars for everything?" And I knew that they would take it, and they did. But um, yeah, some of these I really don't care about. But whatever. Got Mission Impossible. That's one of them. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Uh, pretty cool to get that one. Uh, another one I don't care about. Independence Day. Not another teen movie. I don't know. It's a man movie. But um, it has Serena Vincent, the, who is the yellow uh, galaxy ranger from uh, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. And uh, she's topless in that movie, so kind of got to get that. Um, got Goldeneye. Got this mainly because the game. Uh, the movie itself is meh, but got it because the game. Uh, Rumble in the Bronx, Jackie Chan, awesome. Another one I don't really care about, uh, Armageddon. Uh, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, and The Spy Who Shagged Me. Uh, Friday 13th, Part 7, The New Blood. Never watched this one. Uh, this actually is in really good shape. Um, but, yeah, got that. The X-Files, never watched the X-Files, but got that. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Just, I don't know. These two I thought were pretty cool. Um, I got... Star Wars The Last Hope and uh, Empire Strikes Back. Um, they still have the shrink wrap on them, which is really awesome. These aren't still sealed. I mean, like, the bottoms are ripped open. They even, I believe these are actually rentals, too, because it says as is right there. Um, but I got them for cheap, so have to get those. Next up, Star Trek Generations. Man, movie. Um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Again, cool to have. Scream. Uh, big fan of the Scream movies, actually. Um, just... I mean, they're, they're not serious horror films. They're still pretty good movies. Um, Star Trek VI, um, Undiscovered Country. I'm a big Star Trek fan, if you don't know. Um, but, yeah. Scream 3. Um, probably the worst one out of the bunch. Aliens, great movie. Um, this one's pretty cool. Uh, the Lost World Jurassic Park. I actually never watched this one. But it has a holographic cover thing. Um, Pokemon... Fashion Victims in really terrible shape. This one is extremely water damaged, but I still got it. Um, Scream 2. Uh, Survivor. Um, was it the greatest and most outrageous moments? Big Survivor fan. Big fan of um, 
Survivor and Big Brother, um, mainly because of the strategy increment of the show, not really the actual reality stuff, but um, still, happy to get that. The greatest movie ever, uh, The Ventures of Pluto Nash. Um, used to watch this movie a lot as a kid, actually. It's a terrible, terrible movie, but uh, still got it. Actually, this one's pretty cool. Uh, Star Wars, which I guess technically I have two copies of this, because I already showed New Hope there, but that one's sealed. But um, yeah, this one's actually, I believe, the original print, maybe? I mean, it has the original cover art and stuff, so whatever, that was pretty cool. Star Trek Next Generation, The Masterpiece Society. Um, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi. Again, I believe the original cover art, so that's pretty cool. And then uh, Jurassic Park, awesome movie. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about this. I got a disc-only copy of Crash Bandicoot as well. Um, that was a dollar, but whatever, got bundled in. Oh, no, Power Rangers is over. All right, and after I got uh, Alien Resurrection. Never watched this movie, but got it. And then uh, last one, Blade. Um, I enjoyed the Blade movies, so that's pretty cool to get as well. And then um, these were pretty cool, in my opinion, at least. Um, these Star Trek Next Generation Collector's Edition VHS tapes. Now, um, yeah, I don't know. I thought they were pretty cool, and again, for less than 25 cents a piece, it's just like whatever. These each have two episodes on them, I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got... Sark and manage a god damn it this light really blinds me um <laughs> I got Sarek and manage a Troy and transfigurations um the hunted and the high ground all these have the same cover um the measure of a man and the uh, dolphin um Darmic and ensign bow or bro fuck this light is really blinding. Uh, the Mind's Eye and In Theory. And then The Last Outpost and Lonely Among Us. So those are pretty cool to get. I think they look pretty awesome. So I got them. And then uh, the last thing here, uh, the only game here that I'm keeping for my collection is uh, Monsters, Inc. Scream Team. Without the manual. But I got it for less than a dollar, so I decided to get it. Um, I don't know. Probably a mediocre game, but... I haven't tried it out, so, yeah. And then the last pickup here, um, I was really, really happy about this. Now, in this thrift store, there's this free box that they have. And usually it's full with uh, children books. And um, this is actually what inspired me to look into children books for the um, Final Fantasy strategy guide and the Crazy Taxi strategy guide, because I got these before that. But, um, yeah, I looked into children's books, and I was really shocked to see this. And it was free. So, I mean, I pretty much just got bundled in anyway, but I was really shocked that this was in there. And that is the strategy guide to Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby. Um, pretty awesome find, in my opinion. I don't know how much it goes for. I doubt that that much, but I'm still pretty happy to get Pokemon strategy guides. I mean, they're pretty cool. I don't have Sapphire and Ruby, sadly, but um, when I do, I'll have the strategy guide for it. And sadly, the poster is already taken out. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Get that for free. I was pretty happy about that. And, yeah, um, those are all my pickups, as you see, a lot of VHS tapes. So, yeah, those are all my pickups. Thank you for watching.